Alright, what's going on there guys? So if you're like me and you have the SkyDroid OTG Android receiver, whether it's got the two antennas or the one, um, I've been having a lot of problems with the SkyDroid uh, app for Android, so I wanted to kind of go over a fix for that for those of you guys that purchased the SkyDroid OTG cable or uh, receiver. Technically, it's reading it as a USB 2.0 camera, so you can actually use USB 2.0 uh, apps for your Android phone, and I'm going to show you two of those that actually are very, very good, and both of them offer a little different setup. Um, some of them are very complicated, and, and the other one is really, really simple to use, but it offers you different features. SkyDroid is constantly down. Their app just sucks. So I'm going to show you guys two apps that I have found so far that are my favorite, and I will kind of walk you guys through some cool stuff that they can do, and hopefully this helps you guys if your SkyDroid receiver app is not working so you can't tune into 5.8 uh, gigahertz to watch your friends. Like, it's a base station, basically, you know, to tune into your friends and watch their flights which is kind of nice if you're doing FPV. So let me show you two apps that do work perfectly with it that are not SkyDroid uh, so that you guys moving forward won't have to worry about the fix. Okay, what's going on there, guys? So we're going to talk about these two apps that work flawlessly with the SkyDroid app in case your SkyDroid app isn't working. I actually find that uh, both of these are better than the SkyDroid app. So we're going to talk about both of them individually. The first one is USB camera. The problem with USB camera is that it has ads and I'm not a huge fan of how much of the picture gets cut off with ads unless you buy the premium version which I'm not willing to do and I'm pretty sure probably 99% of you guys aren't going to be either but it does offer more options for instance RTMP setup so if you wanted to multi-stream six people or more in the same window, you could do that through RTMP. If they had streams going, you could put their key link in there and you could have up to six people if you wanted to. That's a really nice feature. USB camera also allows you to turn off internal audio on the receiver and pick up uh, audio from your microphone on your cell phone while you're talking or recording the flight uh, as a voiceover or a dub or if you're live streaming it also helps with that so that's a very cool feature that USB camera does have that OTG view does not so first one I'm gonna set up here is USB camera there will be a link in the description for both of these apps for you guys to click on and download them if you want to use that let's get started with USB camera I'll see you guys in a sec so this is USB camera popped up. If I click on the back of the screen, you can see it gives me an options menu for USB camera. I can turn on whatever motion detection is, which isn't gonna matter because we're not using an actual camera. We're just using this as a receiver and it's showing it as a USB 2.0 camera. Um, but if you notice, there's a big ad in it and you cannot do away with the ad unless you purchase the premium version, which is really annoying. So while you're flying, it kind of cuts off the top of the flight. That's my only gripe with this app so far, but it does have a ton, and I mean an absolute ton of settings that you can go through here. You can just adjust the living crap out of this ad if you want to, okay? So this is a very nice, quick, easy app to set up. Like I said, my only gripe with this, unfortunately, is that there's a big ad right in the middle of it at the top and that's that's just a very frustrating thing to have when you're trying to show people a flight or monitor the flight yourself so this is my second choice uh, it's not really my first choice this would be my second choice but as you can see there's RTMP push URL there's RTMP stream keys you can like it's really unique that they're allowing all this extra stuff to be in here especially if you were live streaming through CameraFi to YouTube, people could watch six people fly all at the same time out in the field from just your cellular device, which is really nice. Lots and lots and lots and lots of options available to you. So let's uh, go ahead and switch over to my first choice. Not nearly as much functionality, but man, does it work cleaner. It definitely works a lot cleaner than USB. So if we go back, and I click on this, it's gonna pull up the camera again. I can scan, I mean, it just, it looks normal, but there's that big fat ad right in the center of it. So, frustrating. You also 
cannot record with the push of a button. You actually have to go in here and set it up for auto record, which is really annoying. So that's another downside to this app versus the other one I'm gonna show you. So let's switch on over to the other app. All right, guys, this is called OTG View, and I love this setup a thousand times better than USB camera, but it doesn't have nearly as many options, but it does allow you to change camera view, flip the screen, rotate. There's a lot of stuff that you can actually do with this that is not offered uh, through the other app that I was discussing. So this is OTG View. This is definitely the app that I would number one choose. It works flawless. There's no ads. It's just a very clean, clean setup, and it does allow me to record and take pictures plus view my gallery to my internal storage which skydroid never worked with it just didn't allow me to click button record it always said there was a problem with my storage device just it was just a hassle i'm glad that i found another app that works without having to use the skydroid app so like i said a lot more limited but it does give you options to very simple display options if you want to change it i have mine set for full screen mode as opposed to window mode if i go back you'll see the difference with window mode i'm just not i'm not a huge fan of that look i like the 16 by 9 aspect ratio youtube prefers the 16 by 9 aspect ratio so i like to kind of you know leave it on there i have yet to figure out how to get the watermark setting which is neat you can do that you can add your own custom logo into the watermark but most of that can be done through your post editing you know when you get it up there and you're editing your footage you can add your your logo or your watermark whatever you want to do i haven't really figured out the watermark stuff yet um, but i have been messing with this quite a bit so this works flawlessly absolutely flawlessly with the receiver and there's no ads it's it's such a plus and like I said, Skydroid never let me do 16 by 9 aspect ratio. With this, I can do that. I can turn off functionality. I can save a screenshot, you know, so it'll put the screenshot over there. Saved and still allow you to keep viewing. If I click on it, then it goes back. So this allows you to <clears throat> talk about uh, something that just took place while you were doing it. If you could pause it in time, click, it'll pause that. Show a second window so you can talk about what took place while people continue watching the flight. So this just has some very nice settings. If I want to turn off uh, a lot of the background buttons, I just click the button next to the split and it makes most of that go away. <clears throat> you can adjust all your brightness levels. I mean, this is just a, a, a thousand times better than the Skydroid app ever was by using this as an OTG USB camera. Remember guys, both of the links for these downloads will be in the description of this video. I hope this helps you. I hope this, you know, I saw when I went to the Skydroid app, there were a lot of people saying like, oh my God, I hate this. I bought this receiver. I can't use it. It's trash. This should help the majority of you guys that purchase this receiver start working with your cell phones even your older devices should be able to run the majority of this stuff so if you learned something today guys don't forget to smash the like button subscribe whatever you guys want to do drop a comment be awesome and i will catch you guys in the next video drone worship from somewhere in beautiful tampa florida catch you guys on the flip tutoroo good afternoon please give your attention to my associate agent J. He's going to demonstrate an electro-biomechanical neural transmitting zero synapse repositioner. We call it the Neuralizer. Keep it simple, Slick. Mm, thanks a lot. Thank you, Agent K. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here.